Hey guys, welcome back. So, on this segment, we are going to do some um, hatch patterns. So, if you missed any of the previous videos, you'll want to go back and catch up. So, in the last video, we went from our 2D design of our patio and made it 3D. So, we pulled up all these sitting walls, fire pit, you know, steps, kitchen, all that. And so now we're starting to actually see what, what this project's going to look like. So now this is a pretty quick step and we're going to fly through this. Um, but it's extremely important if you want to really make this project look real. And that's filling in our patterns. So we're going to get kind of creative with this. <clears throat> so I blocked off this section. So we're going to make this a separate paver. We're going to make this big area a separate paver. And maybe we'll even make you know our fire pit area a separate paver. So what we're going to do is we're going to zoom in. And we're just gonna take one second. We're gonna take our line tool. And we're gonna connect it. We should actually try that again. Make sure that we're getting our green axis, because that's what's gonna get us to the center of the fire pit. So we're gonna come here again, do our green axis line, and there we go. So that area should be cut off. We'll see, sometimes there's some funny things that happen. So we're gonna start with the stuff that's already in the program as far as patterns go. So we're gonna start by going to, oh, sorry our paint bucket and we're going to start with our roof shingle. So I'm already in roofing but you can click on this drop down box, go to roofing and choose just a normal shingle and I'm just going to fill in the areas that I want to be shingled. So that part was super easy. So then we're going to go to our siding. So we're going to go to brick cladding and siding and there's not a lot of options. Um, I usually go with there's a couple that I usually do, so I'm going to go with this one. And this is kind of like a shingled siding. And we're going to fill that where we want that. And we're not going to go around the whole house, but we're going to do enough. So then we are going to go to glass and mirrors. We're going to pick just like a glass color, and we're just going to fill in our door. Um, you can get really fancy with your doors if you want to, but. I choose to just keep it kind of basic. So then we're going to fill in our foundation. So we're going to go to asphalt and concrete. And you can kind of just pick one that you think looks the most like um, concrete. We're going to come down here to our foundation. Fill in our concrete areas. So then we're going to go to stone. And we're going to choose one that looks kind of, I'm going to choose granite steps for this. We're going to choose this and we're going to fill this in for our granite steps. So make sure that you are getting all of your sides. Um, we're not going to do them all, but just make sure you do Then we are going to do our kitchen counter. It's the same thing. You got to make sure you go around and get all these little bits. It's really aggravating, but it's worth it in the end as far as aesthetics go. So then we've done all we're actually going to do, we're going to do mulch for our garden beds as well. So we're going to zoom out and I usually just pick a color for this. Um, so I'll usually go to just the colors and I will pick, I usually do this one, it's just kind of a brown. Um, you know if you're going to do black mulch or red try to find a color that's going to look like it. But that's just what I usually use. So there we go. So there's all the patterns and colors that we have in the program already. Um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to import some of our own hatch patterns. So we're going to go this drop down box and we're going to go to 3D Warehouse and get models. And we're going to search. So we're going to use Techoblock. So we're going to type in Techoblock. But there's also... 
Uh, Unilock has their stuff on here. I think maybe Belgard does. Who knows? I, I think most of the companies do. And we're going to go through the actual pavers and wall blocks. Most of them are in here and most of the colors are in here. So what we are going to do is, let's say we're going to do... What should we do? Let's say we're going to do Antica for our fire pit area. So we're going to download this. And it's going to ask us if we want to load this directly into the SketchUp model. We're going to press OK. Let it load. And then it's going to come up with the actual patterns. And you're going to zoom out. And you're going to want to put these super far away. Um, just click them out of the way. And then we're going to zoom back in and we're going to come up to our paint bucket and we're going to go to the home button. And now when you scroll down, you should have all of the Antica imported into your colors. So we're going to do, let's maybe do chestnut brown. So you're going to take your paint bucket and you're going to fill in. So now we have our chestnut brown Antica around our fire pit. So we're going to exit out and we're going to go back to our 3D warehouse, get models. I'm going to type in Teco Block, and we're going to get our other pavers downloaded. So let's say we're going to do Aberdeen for our fireplace area. So we're going to download that. Same thing. Zoom pretty far out. And you can go crazy zooming out if you want and get them way out of there, but zoom back in. We're going to go to our paint bucket. Scroll down, so here's our Aberdeen, so let's do, hover over it, let's do Rock Garden Brown. So we'll import that in. And if you zoom in, it really does, I mean, it looks good. They show you the texture, they show you the color really well. You know, it shows the poly sand. So you can do some really cool close-ups to show your, your patterns, um, your textures, and, you know, different pavers next to other pavers. So we'll go back, and we're going to get... Go back to Teco Block. So let's try to find blue. So we're going to go to blue. Download that. And then we're going to scroll back out. And we are going to put that with the other ones. And we're going to scroll back in. You're going to go to our paint can, scroll down, so now all of our blues are in here. So let's try to do, let's do Harvest Gold, and we're going to fill in this area. So there's, now all of our paver areas are done. So now we're going to go get our last model. Let's go back to Teco Block, and we're going to get our mini crater, let's say, for our kitchen. So there's our mini crater. You can download it. Scroll out, throw it with the other patterns, come back in here, go to our paint bucket, and let's say we're going to do our mini crate, uh, and let's say we're going to pick sandalwood, so we're going to fill that in, swing around, go back to your paint bucket, fill that in. And we can do that for all of our sitting walls as well. Um, I'm not going to go crazy filling them all in, but you know, you're going to go around your whole project. Make sure you keep turning so you get you know all sides of your pillars and everything, just like this. Keep clicking on your paint bucket after you move. Fill in all these areas. We'll fill in our fire pit. So there are our hatch patterns. So I didn't finish them, but you can do that on your own. Um, so now you're starting to actually see the color of your patio. And um, so all these, you know, the tops of all these walls and kitchen, we could have done these caps. Um, so you can do that on your own. And like I said, do that because it will make an 
awesome amount of difference as far as the you know the finished product of this this um, design goes. So there's our hatch patterns, guys. Stay tuned for the next um, segment, which is going to be putting in our actual elements. So we're going to put our fireplace in. We're going to put our kitchen appliances in. We're going to put um, you know set a table and chairs in. Um, we're also going to put all of our plants in. So stay tuned, that's going to be like the last segment of the video before our project is completed. And then lastly, I'm going to do a segment on how to actually present this to your clients without showing them the program. So once again, thanks for watching, stay tuned.